The Space Museum and Grissom Center in Bonterre, Missouri celebrates its 20th anniversary. The president and director Earl Mullins says his inspiration for the museum came from many fond memories of his lifetime. Echo I do remember because it was a large 110 foot aluminum mylar balloon and uh, it was our first uh, attempt at satellite communication and it was easy to see and when I saw that I you know shuttling through the sky I was hooked. I, I, don't, I, I guess we're just born wired a particular way, uh, but that was my start in it. The Echo was not his only inspiration for the popular attraction, but also his close friend, Lowell Grissom, who had some involvement. I met Lowell at uh, the St. Louis Science Center when they brought Liberty Bell, Gus's spacecraft, to the Science Center. And I told him I was going to open a museum. And I just introduced myself to him uh, long story short, he and I became close friends over the years. I am not afraid of throwing that Grissom name around. That opened another door, that opened another door, that opened another door, began to gain credibility. After the Echo launched, Mullen started collecting as many space items as possible. He's collected everything, such as a moon rock from Gus Grissom, to his first item in the museum, a Mercury space capsule pencil sharpener. After years of collecting, Mullins decided it was time to share his knowledge of space with the public by opening the museum in 2003. Since then, children, teens, and adults have enjoyed the museum's factual knowledge, artifacts, and hands-on activities. Unitech student Isaac Killian expresses his enjoyment at the museum. Um, and what would you say the best part of it was? Building a rocket. I feel like that was the fun part. How did you feel about the... Uh, space shuttle experience. The space shuttle experience was pretty cool. Very loud, but awesome. I really liked it. Uh, did Great. you see anything in there that stood out to you? The robot. The, the robot scared me a little bit. Uh, but it was really cool, though. Even some of NASA's astronauts, like Eileen Collins, believe this space museum has the potential. We had three lady astronauts here in May not the least of which was Eileen Collins, the first female shuttle commander. All of them, to the person, said, if you need anything at all, you let us know. Whether you need help getting more dignitaries, you need recommendations, whatever it is. The reason they said that is that everything we have done here, we have done to our very best. Mullins believes you can do anything you put your mind to. So when he decided to make a museum, he believed in himself and created one of the best museums in Missouri.